You know me, SDMT. Man, let's get to it. Before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on my notifications, man. The Pittsburgh Steelers are 8 and 0, oh, man. We got to ask ourselves the question Are they the best team in the NFL? And when we really look at it, as a team, their defense is playing awesome. You know what I mean? They're shutting down the run. They've only had only allowed 100 yard rusher this whole season. They shut down Derrick Henry. You know they played the Ravens in a tough game. You know they gave up 100 yards to J.K. Dobbins, but they ended up winning that tough, you know, divisional game, which they had to win to prove that they can be a better team than the Ravens. And the biggest difference, I believe, is to have a healthy Ben Roethlisberger back. You know, Big Ben is leader of that team, and now that Tom Brady has left the AFC, he pretty much has the most experience, and he's just the the most qualified in the A in the AFC. You know what I mean? That you want to trust in the playoffs. When we look at it, you know the Ravens are a stacked team, but if you ask me, do I trust Lamar Jackson's going to beat Ben Roethlisberger in the playoffs? I don't know if I would bet on that, man. We've seen the Ravens struggle in the playoffs. You know what I mean? They, you know, they couldn't beat Ryan Tannehill, Tannehill and the Titans. You know what I'm saying? So we look at Mike Tomlin. He's had 14 seasons of a 500 better record. He did a great job last year when they didn't have Big Ben. So we got to look at the Steelers, man. They started off their schedule pretty easy, but we look at their next few games. They got the Bengals and they got the Jaguars. I expect them to go 10-0. That Bengals game might be a little scary game because it's divisional, but after that, that Ravens game, they could split that. So let's say they, they go 10-1. Washington, 11-1. Bills, tough game. Let's just give them the L just because, so we'll say 11-2. And, and then um, that Bengals game, I expect them to win one of them, so we'll say, uh, you know, 12-2. And, and then, you know, they have the Colts, you know, 13-2. and two. So when we look at their record, I expect them to win 13 to 14 games. You know what I mean? When you look at the teams that they play, um, you know, they, they're, they're, they're a better team. Their defense is playing great. They're causing turnovers. They're getting interceptions. They got Lamar Jackson to throw two picks against them. The Browns, that's another win. So they could go 15-1, and one, to be honest with you. You know what I mean? They could theoretically go 16-0. and 0. The rest of their schedule isn't too difficult. I think that Ravens game is going to be huge. And that um that Bills game. But when we look at it, Ben is playing at a high level. He has 18 touchdowns and only four interceptions. So he's not turning the ball over. They're running the ball. They're making big plays. You know what I mean? They're they're playing smart football and their defense is doing a great job of shutting down the run and also containing these quarterbacks and also getting them to throw a pick. So we look at the Steelers, man, and we look at the only other dominant team in that major conference would be the Chiefs. So when we look at how the Steelers stack up against the Chiefs, I would say they stack up pretty good. With that defense, you'd have to give the Steelers the edge on defense. Quarterback, you know, Mahomes is, I would, I would say, a better talented quarterback at this point in his career, but I do give the edge to Ben Roethlisberger when it comes to experience. And then coaching, you know what I mean? We can cancel them out right there. They're both two solid coaches with Super Bowl records. So we look at it, the biggest threat to the Kansas City Chiefs, the Super, the Super Bowl champions from last season, I think is the Pittsburgh Steelers. You know what I mean? Well, I think Lamar Jackson and the Ravens, they have something to prove. They got to prove that they could win in the playoffs. They got to prove that they could, you know, beat the Steelers with Ben Roethlisberger. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And take that division back because right now it looks like the Steelers have the fast lane to the best record in the AFC. And if they get that home field, um, whole home field advantage, that's going to be scary. You know what I mean? I, I like the Chiefs and I believe they're a super talented team. But, you know what I mean? We saw them struggle with the Panthers today. So you never know what can happen in a game. And the playoffs is just one game. So I think the Steelers, the way their team is built that great defense, T.J. Watt is playing out of this world. You know, Ben Roethlisberger is playing smart football, not turning the ball over, and they're running the ball, and, you know, they're, they're, they're making plays, and they're a solid team. You know what I mean? They beat that Titans team in a game that a lot of people didn't believe they had a good schedule, but they won that game, and then they beat the Ravens. So I'm definitely a believer in that team. I'm a believer in Mike Tomlin. He's a, he's, he's a great coach. We already know that. Ben Roethlisberger, he's a Hall of Famer and, uh, you know, the most experienced quarterback in the AFC. So they can definitely do some damage in the playoffs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on my notifications.
Are the Steelers the best team in the NFL? Let me know in the comments. I'm out. SDMT!